Gymnastics is a sport with a high risk of injury. The constant risk of injury leads to many opportunities for a gymnast to experience fear. Little is known about how gymnasts experience fear and how coaches perceive gymnast fears. Other than this, the world of gymnastics is a place where there are a lot of dark things that we don't know about. Many things that happen that are not even spoken about in front of the public. In this video, we will be looking at some of the dark secrets in gymnastics that none of you probably know about. This video will tell you about the starvation, sexual abuse, and fear that surround the world of gymnastics. Sexual Abuse Case Back in 2016, the media struggled to report the increasingly garish details of the case in which victims stood for their days in court one by one and Congress was finally forced to take action. This is the horrifying, untold truth of abuse victims within USA Gymnastics. USAG has found itself in a controversy in 2016 when Nasser was accused by a female gymnast of sexual abuse. The first woman was Rachel Denhollander to publicly accuse Nasser. She came forward in September 2016. Rachel Denhollander's harrowing account was published by the Indianapolis Star after she filed a police complaint against him at MSU, where she had been treated as a teenager. Den Hollander was only 15 at the time, and she received five treatments in total, all of which were sexual abuse at the hands of Nassar, all while her mother was present. Nassar's abuse frequently occurred in the presence of parents or guardians, with the doctor and patient positioned so that they couldn't see what was going on. Den Hollander recalled lying on the table, terrified, ashamed, and very embarrassed, trying to reconcile what was happening with the person he was supposed to be. Den Hollander told the court during Nasser's preliminary hearing, I want him to know, and I want the rest of the world to know, that I know where the shame and guilt are for this lie. It is his fault, not mine, and I am not afraid of the truth. The Dark Side of Championships Next, let's look at what it takes to perform in a championship. The young Romanian gymnasts were beaten by their coaches and pushed to train even if they were in pain. Former world star champion Maria Olaru writes in her autobiographical book called The Price of Gold Uncomfortable Sincerity, I had a very bad day. At the morning practice, things went badly. I got out of bed with a bad backache. I couldn't do almost anything in training. When Mr. Carpenesian saw that I was performing badly, he started beating me. He slapped me three times on the beam, and at the beam, I stood up to him and he slapped me again. Then I went to the parallel bars where I performed badly because my back was aching even more badly. When I finished, he beat me again. He slapped me in the face and threw me on the floor, and while I was lying there, he started trampling me. I was crying really loud, my eyes and face swallowed. Maria Olaru recounts in her book. The Struggle to Win Gold If just participation is so difficult, can you imagine what it would be like to win a gold medal? Jennifer Say recalls what it was like to fly through the air as a champion U.S. gymnast, performing gravity-defying moves. It is a spiritual experience. It's beyond human to push your body like that, she said. But Say was also pushing her body and mind in disturbing ways that went far beyond her athletic prowess. And that is what we don't see. This is what only gymnasts go through. The former number one gymnast in America has revealed the terrible regime of starving and abuse that lay behind her achievements in a shocking new book. Say's memoir has sent shockwaves through the tightly knit world of top athletes, igniting controversy as the Olympics in Beijing approach. She has described widespread eating disorders, coaches suspected of having sexual feelings for their young charges, and a brutal physical regime that leaves gymnasts crippled and psychologically scarred in later life. She describes a sometimes harrowing experience in which she became so obsessed with losing weight that she didn't menstruate until she stopped gymnastics at the age of 20. So this was all from this video. I will conclude this video just by saying, all that glitters is not gold. What we see on TV screens and social media is far from reality. 
and we can't even imagine what is happening backstage? Share your thoughts in the comments below.